My name is Jeff Gibar. I came here in 2007. I was um, interviewing with Dr. Voltz, who was superintendent there, and I became the choir director and, and started the show choir as we know it, Titan Fever. There's something wrong with sounds today. They never really catch how I feel. I came from Mount Zion. I love Mount Zion. Great experience, uh, but it's basically all show choir. Here, it, I had a balanced diet. I had I could do madrigal music, concert choir music, um, a freshman choir uh, to kind of introduce more, you know, probably fluid music for them. Um, try to develop their voices. Um, there's a mixed course, kids who didn't want to audition for a course. There had to be something for them. Uh, we had a jazz choir, and then I started the show choir. They didn't have a period for the show choir, and, and I asked for last period because no kid wants to go back to class sweaty, and they honored that. I said, the choir room needs mirrors. They honored that. I mean, everything, you know, lined up so well, and they are so accommodating. Right. I should have known you were bad news. I've always felt like show choir was a way of getting boys. We've lost boys since the 80s, 1980s. Um, numbers have dwindled because so many more activities, so many more sports and, and things. And show choir was one way to kind of introduce, oh, so I can move in. Oh, okay, this is this is cool, you know. So, and then it it grew from that. The types of kids in Titan Fever ranged all over the place, especially in my years in show choir. We had cheerleaders. We even had football players at some point. We had, you know. I mean, I don't, we, we, everybody. I mean, it's an environment for everyone. There's not a specific type of people, and that's what's nice about it. I mean, it brings everyone together who does, you know, different extracurriculars, but we all have the love, same love for music, and that's what brings us together. <laughs> Titan Fever prepared me in my years after high school when it comes to being a leader. Um, holding the leadership position of being president my senior year definitely gave me, you know, the experience of holding myself accountable for everything and teaching me that some people might be upset with what you do. Some people might not like, you know, the decisions you make, but that's your decision and you have to just hold yourself accountable. And I do that every day in my daily life. When I write a song and I, you know, a producer doesn't like it, okay, it's okay, give you a new one, you know? It's like, that's all right. I'm doing my thing, so it's okay. If I'm being honest, starting in Titan Fever where I was my sophomore year, I never thought I'd be at the position I am right now. Yes, I knew I'd be in music, but just the growth of my music career, you know, starting in Titan Fever and doing all that kind of stuff, I never would have imagined I'd be here right now. Just, you know, people who want to do music, you gotta put in the work, and that's, you know, how you get to where you need to be. And, you know, Titan Fever, I learned all the music things, you know, to start off. But once you leave that, you have a good foundation that starts you into pursuing your career in music. That's what we try to do. That's what I try to do. Make them good role models and, and aspire to be something better. You know, from here, Josh Wickard, um, he's in movies now you know, with his wife, Lauren, and, and doing excellent uh, work. That's what's gratifying, to see those kids, oh, go for it, and not just sit and wait for it to come to you. I have known about Titan Fever since uh, since I was in high school show choir. Uh, I was around right around when Titan Fever was getting started, and um, you know, I got to kind of watch from afar, have my friends in the group, and hear about all their successes. And uh, was uh, 
teaching in another position and uh, the opportunity open to come to Glenwood and be the choir director. And I won, won the sweepstakes and got lucky. So here I am. I remember still getting the phone call for when they wanted to interview me and I just, I just kind of did a little like hop skip. I was just so excited because I was like, oh my goodness, I get to go interview for this job that's been like a dream. And, and then it was just even more of an exciting thing when you get that phone call. They're like, hey, we want you to be the next choral director at Clement High School. And I just went, oh, okay. Uh, one of those, you know, dream come true moments and at the same time just giving you one of those, you know, big, deep, <laughs> you know, just you don't know how to react. You're just so excited. When you put together a group uh, of folks that really, really enjoy performing and enjoy singing, and then you have a uh, you have a staff with a director and everybody that is just so engrossed and engaged in the product and just striving for that high level of excellence that Tight Fever and the Glenwood Coral Program has always had. Um, it, it just makes you want to keep going. It makes you want to keep being a part of it. And, you know, the, you know, it changes every year. There's always a different group of people, but there's always that continual motivation and continual excitement of, hey, we're a part of this group, we're a part of this long-standing tradition, and we want to keep this alive, and we're excited to be here to continue to do that. Not to mention the skill, like we talked earlier, the skills that you build, the opportunities that are created as being a part of a show choir, it's just something you can't get from anything else, whether it be a sport, whether it be you know a, a club, or even like a dance or a cheer team, you just can't get it. You can't get the same experience you know, that you can get from your life. When I tell you that I'm leaving and I think you're not, you wrestle me to the ground. So the T-Funk Combo is um, show choirs always have, not always, usually will have a live band that plays with them. Um, and normally that's exactly what they are as a backup band. Um, and they just kind of support the show choir. But in our case, with T-Funk, they've kind of taken on like a personality of their own and they've kind of become part of the show. So like... Um, all the Titan Fever kids now like recognize them as T-Funk as a different entity, you know, that, that happens to play with the, the show choir. To say they dig it is, is, is probably an understatement. Um, some of these kids have like completely bought into this and like this is their thing now. Like T-Funk is, is like the highlight of some of these kids' high school careers, like being able to to play this different style of music. You know, it's not the same stuff we do in, in wind ensemble or in any band class, right? It's, it's pop music, it's funk music, it's fast, it's loud, it's in front of screaming crowds of, you know, teenagers. Like, it's very different than, than your average band experience. So yes, yeah, so these kids have like bought in, they love it. There's merch, like they're starting to make shirts, they have hoodies, they're making a tour shirt of all of our shows and comps this year. Like, to say they've bought in is, is you know, to just scraping the surface with these kids. Our pair group is really important actually with Titan Fever. Um, we support the director um, and their efforts. Um, there's a lot of coordination of costuming and the trips and buses and um, getting food together for the kids when they have rehearsals that are all, last all day or all weekend long. Um, and so we're there really to, to help support getting, I guess, where the rubber, rubber meets the road. Those of us who have been around, we try to help the newer parents learn, okay, this is what it means when you're the room mom at the competition. You know, you hang up the costumes when they're on the floor. You help the kids get things, you know, put back away before they're going to go and do their finals, you know, competition later. Um, little things like that. It's pretty cool when you walk around when you, you've got Titan Fever on because I think of the reputation just of our program. So many places we go, when we walk in, you can hear the echoes, you, you hear the comments, uh, people come up to you, and you really see it when they see the kids, and they say, you're with Titan Fever. And so you have that sense of pride. Yeah, absolutely. We're here. We, we are Titan Fever. And so as parents, you get to experience that same joy. You get to exude what the kids have in Yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Titan Fever dad. <laughs> to have this opportunity for our students to experience this one-of-a-kind thing, it, it really is just special as a director to get to watch that, but then get to, to allow those students to have that opportunity to go, 
hey, I was a part of Titan Fever. I was a part of show choir when I was in high school, and that's not something that everyone else gets to say. <laughs> this as a family. Um, we spend so much time together, it's hard not to have those relationships. And I'm really gonna, this is probably the part of high school that I'll miss the most once I graduate. <laughs> Fever was where I had some of my best high school memories and met some of my best high school friends. And we created such a family and a community that sticks with us still to this day. And I wouldn't take back any of it for the world. It's, it's kind of like when people are asked, when you go on a destination, would you rather get there right away or do you want the journey? And, and for show choir, it, for me at least, it was always about the journey. Oh, oh, oh.